Hi there. Hopefully the sound works right now. We had a little problem earlier due to operator error. So anyways, I'm back. This is the uh, this is the art by Christopher Ream or painting with Chris stream on Twitch. So anyways, um, what am I going to work on right now? I think I'm going to work on this right here in front of me. Ah, the sound of many computers. For whatever reason, it's the way things are today. Yeah, I'm still working out this video stuff here. I haven't really quite gotten it all exactly where I want it, but... What's that? That was the one I was using yesterday. No, I don't want to use this one. There's nothing wrong with that one, but that's not where I started. I'm going to try to use a more limited palette on this one. This is one of the one of the fact workhouses paints. I'm not even sure what number it is right now. I'm kind of not current on that. I'm still trying to figure out the best thing to do here with the camera, whether you should be able to see all of it or see more detail. Taking details probably more useful. Um, hmm. what I need, yeah, is some kind of red brick. I think we're going to start with this. We'll go over it very lightly. And then, then after we do this, I am back. That is correct. Are you on my channel? I guess we're going to wait and see my buddy in Lester. Okay, he says he's he says he's going to go somewhere. Okay, can you hear the sound? Is the sound working? That is my question. the big question. Is the sound working? I think it is. I tried a test run earlier today, but I had the wrong audio source hooked up, and that did not work well. So now I think I've fixed that. Oh, I like that. Yeah, so I think this is going to work really well. The plan is I'm going to use this to do the basic recording of stuff, and then after I do the basics here, then I'll take these recordings and I'll upload them to YouTube as Paint with Chris. So yeah. We'll see how it goes. This is probably good. Getting the sound to work is always good. So one thing to remember while I'm doing this. is that the color is always deeper when it's wet than when it's dry. And so that means several things, really. It means that you can paint really intensely. If 
that's the effect that you're looking for. And it'll still probably be okay when it's dry, It'll be a little less intense. And that you can build up layers. You can build layers with watercolor just like you can with oils. It takes a little more practice. You have to know a little bit more about the pigments. Some pigments cover other pigments better than some pigments cover pigments. That sort of thing. But it all depends. So yeah, so the plan is I'm going to try to do this probably four times a week because I need the incentive to get on with this and, and all the art projects I have going on right now. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, it's a good question. Now, let's see. The colors are not exactly right. That's interesting. See this right here? This is... Yes, you can't see that. That's, that's my... This is, appears to be too bright, I think. I'll have to see if I can adjust the what's happening here on Twitch. Oh no, it looks okay on Twitch. It doesn't look so bad. Well, it's a little pinker. I think it's a little bit pinker on Twitch than it is in real life. alterations while I'm, while I'm in the middle of running this, so we'll just have to let it run. It's close enough for government work, as we used to say. Not a big deal. Um, I wonder, can I get to the chat here? Yeah, I have sent a chat message. Ah, oh, very cool. Chat messages work. Cool. All right. Now, what do we need? This is going to be a clock. I haven't finished really putting that in the way that I should. Um, where do I want to go next? Try this. I'm hoping for kind of a bluish grayish color. That's not, I don't want it to be real dark. And I don't want it to be real bluish, but I don't want it to just be pure gray either. Yeah, I don't know, those roofs and progs, they're basically black. So maybe we'll have to look into that. That, that may be a long-term thing to look into. And, yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's a quiet evening in Bavaria. What I'm, I don't know, what more do you want? There's not much to be said. I like to outline the one where I think it makes it look good. I'm trying a new, new idea here. Take a little bit of burnt sienna and mix it with a bit of red violet. Let's see what we're going to come up with. I'm not taking a drop of this blue gray and putting it in there. Yeah, let's see how that works. I like that. Makes a nice color. Right now I'm using the white knights paints. When I'm not sure what to do, I usually use the white knights. I especially like the white knights for doing these sort of fantasy buildings and for um some of the stuff that I do with the sea beasties. I also have a bunch of Sennelier paint and some Schmincke and some Old Holland. This is a lot like Old Holland. It's just a little bit cheaper. Yeah, I think this is going to work out real good. I think a couple of, a couple of layers of this would be nice. It'd be a place for rigor. Right now I'm just using a normal Kolonsky sable. This is one of Jackson's homebrew Kolonskys. I got a lot of my art supplies at Jackson's before Brexit happened. It's now a little more difficult to import stuff and it takes a little longer. But it's not real difficult. Believe it or not, it's actually probably easier to deal with doing it from Japan. Because we have a free trade treaty with Japan, and all I have to do is pay that tax at the border. But we do not have a free trade treaty with England, or well, with the United Kingdom. I need some water. I'll be back in 10 seconds. Maybe less. Okay, you have water. That's a big help. Yeah. So yeah, my basic plan is is to just basically stream when I'm working. And hopefully over the course of time, I'll build up the following. Yeah, I think this is going to look really good with that. I was just using a plain brown 
Do these little highlights? Yeah, I think this looks better. I think what I'd like here, really, is have less water in this mixture. And we'll have to see if anybody drops by. Yeah, see them right there. This is where rigor would really be useful, probably. Hmm. Let's consider that. I'm thinking. Yeah, I do like that. That that does look cool. That would like that really sort of pops better. a lot of it. It's a really deep color. Oh so, yeah, it's good. Tune toning everything really does make a difference. No question about it. Um, let me see here. Yeah, I know. I don't know how I'm going to finish that rope. I'm thinking about that. That's just a, that's just a base color I put down. It's, it's not the, it's not going to be the final look of that rope at all. This is on um, hot press paper. What kind of hot press paper is this? This is arches. A lot of times when I use the, the, the individual sheets, I use Sanders water for it. But when I buy these blocks, I like to try different things. Although I have a lot of arches. And I have a bunch of other stuff cans and some occasionally I have some um, house brands
Yeah. You should never ever be pendentic about not turning the block or some BS like that. Turning these blocks to get a better angle is critical. Honestly, I'm doing the same thing when I do the carving for the woodblock prints. I'm moving things around to make it easier for me to hit the carving right. be interesting to go back and see how this sounds after I finish recording this. <clears throat> I think I got this microphone set up about right. It's not the world's greatest mic. I think for now it's probably a good choice. I think later I might get a lapel microphone. What I'd really like to do is figure out a way to put this computer in the other room and then send everything over, somehow over the internet. Yeah, you can see a little bit of what's happening there. It's clear, it's definitely clear on my desk. I didn't see quite the same intensity. I wonder, am I screaming anything? Hmm. Let's stop and turn it back on. <laughs> 